नमस्कार ब्रेस्ट फीडिंग सेव्स न्यू बॉर्न लाइफ प्रमोट्स अर्ली चाइल्डहुड ग्रोथ एंड डेवलपमेंट एंड इम्प्रूव मटर्नल हेल्थ प्रैक्टिस सच एज अर्ली एंड अन इंटरप्टेड स्किन टू स्किन कॉन्टैक्ट एट बर्थ अर्ली इनिशिएशन ऑफ ब्रेस्ट फीडिंग रूमिंग इन एंड कैंगरू मदर केयर आर की टू सक्सेसफुल ब्रेस्ट फीडिंग improve neonatal survival and are recommended by world health organization the current covid-19 pandemic has emerged as a major public health challenge of interest to global newborn health is its effect on breastfeeding practices worldwide evidence so far suggests that coronavirus is not transmitted either through placenta or through breast milk relatively few neonates have been reported positive and those too with mild or no symptoms only based on this evidence who guidelines on breast feeding in covid mothers endorse practices such as skin to skin care early initiation of breast feeding and exclusive breast feeding to be continued similarly irrespective of covid status of the mother or baby taking adequate droplet and contact precautions in the ongoing pandemic all efforts must be made to keep babies with their mothers even if they are covid positive however there are certain cases where baby may need care in the nursery and be separated from mother either due to sickness in the baby or in the mother or initially after a cesarean where mother alone may not be in a condition to look after and feed her baby while she is in the isolation ward in all such cases where separation is inevitable baby must not be devoid of his or her mother's own milk the covid pandemic post unique challenges in such babies first getting express breast milk from the covid positive mothers was a challenge because of logistic issues and fear of contamination of the expressed breast milk container with the virus secondly family participatory care was disrupted as healthcare providers could not allow suspect or confirmed covid-19 positive mothers to enter nurseries and spread infection to other babies or the other hospital staff in the first part of this video we demonstrate that how breast milk in the covid positive mothers can be expressed and safely transported to the baby in the newborn care unit in the second part we briefly describe the feasibility of family participatory care in current times taking certain due precautions small and sick babies must be cared in an isolation area in nursery with a designated healthcare team the staff accompanying the baby must wear adequate personal protective equipments after shifting the baby the transport incubator must be disinfected with 1% hypochlorite solution the staff should be provided with adequate supplies of personal protective equipments and trained for safe use and disposal of ppe mothers separated from their babies must be counseled and supported to express breast milk starting as soon after birth as possible preferably within 1 to 6 hours after delivery mothers are explained that colostrum is absolutely vital for her baby and she is motivated for continued expression eight or more times in 24 hours expression of milk can be done manually or through use of breast pump use of pump in a covid ward has not been feasible with only a handful of rotational staff available who too were neither familiar with the use of the machine nor could commit time required to undertake washing cleaning and upkeep of the breast pump after every use especially when there may be two or more covid positive mothers at the same time 
requiring similar support in a COVID ward. Hence, we have chosen to teach manual expression to mothers personally as well as with the help of job aids and videos. Mothers separated from their babies are anxious, fearful because of their own illness, baby being separated and isolation from their family. This may affect her lactation negatively. The care providers need to empathize, motivate and support her to continue expression. We found an idea worth emulating that we had seen at another facility. If mothers could get to see her baby admitted in an ICU, away from her and also being fed the milk that she was expressing and sending, it made her feel comforted and greatly allayed her anxiety too. We provided tablets, one each at COVID isolation ward and an ICU. Nurses used these tablets to show babies to their mothers twice a day. The treating physicians also used to tell day-to-day -day clinical status of the baby to the mother and also to the relative or father once every day through video call. Mothers and relatives were free to call any time to ask for any advice they deemed necessary for. Nurses also used video call to counsel mothers regarding breastfeeding. Let us now see how milk can be expressed and safely transported to the baby. The mother should use alcohol-based hand rub before starting expression. Breast milk is expressed manually emptying one or both breasts using standard technique. The expressed breast milk is collected in a clean container, capped and put aside on her bedside stool. The mother then sanitizes her hands after expression is complete. The container is then wiped from outside using a wet disinfectant wipe. The container is then received by staff nurse in a zipper pouch and sealed. The name, date and time are labelled on the pouch. The staff then hands over the zipper pouch to the attendant who transports it to the NICU. The receiving staff at the NICU takes out the EBM container with a gloved hand from the zipper pouch. The zipper pouch is then discarded in a red bin. The nurse then wipes the container with alcohol-based wipes and discards the wipe in yellow bin. The outer gloves are then removed and discarded in red bin. The container is labelled with name, date and time and kept by baby's side or in refrigerator to be fed as per schedule. The empty container is washed using soap and water. and then immersed in hot water for 10 minutes. The containers are then air dried, packed in zipper pouch and then sent to COVID ward for collecting EBM. Even if the baby's condition does not allow feeding, the mother should be explained to express breast milk every 2-3 to three hourly so as to establish and maintain milk supply for later continuation. When mothers are COVID positive, they are allowed inside NICU once they are clinically stable and their isolation period is over. For extramural babies with unknown maternal COVID status, the mothers are screened either based on symptoms or by PCR if facilities permit. As soon as they are declared negative, they are allowed entry inside the NICU to provide kangaroo mother care and assist in the baby care. Thus, we saw how the breast milk can be made available in safe and secure way 
even to the babies who are separated from their mothers. Role of family in care of sick babies is necessary for well-being of both the babies and their families. Therefore, all efforts must be made to reinstate family participatory care as soon as possible. Namaskar.